Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's your Jade Apple here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your YouTube video upload times. So as you know, the video upload time is dependent on both your network upload speed as well as the file size of the video you're trying to uploading. So today I'm going to show you guys a compressor that I use called Handbrake. I've tested out many other compressors and I did one thing I noticed in common was the quality loss and the choppiness and things that want to keep you away from a compressor. So this compressor, I did almost every test you can and did many comparisons between the original clip, which I will show you guys later. But let's go ahead and just run you through this app. First off, the best thing about this app is that it's free. Um, so it's very easy to use. First thing you need to do is hit the source and select your um, source video. I'm going to show you guys the original size of this video, which is 199 megabytes on disk, which is... Um, Concerning it's a 10 second intro, quite a big file. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to compress this um, and what settings to set it to. Most of the preset settings should be fine, but it's good just to check it over at least the first time you use it. It should be at an MP4 file and I have tested out many different um, options here. I tested out web optimize itself, large file itself, as well as web optimize and large file checked. And out of the four comparing side by side, I found that large file size option was the best option to go in terms of the, um, compare it to the original quality. It looked almost identical, even though the file size between all of them are very, very similar. So make sure that's at H.264, same as source, so on. Audio, um, stereo, I try to keep it at stereo since I use a voiceover mic set to stereo mode. Um, so this really depends on how you recorded it. The bit rate at 160 is fine, but if you're using a higher quality mic, you may want to consider switching that up. Everything else can be left at the presets, and that's pretty much it. The other settings are like the activity window, which you don't really need to know. It's just scripting on whatever it's doing. Um, preview window is showing you a live preview. Again, I don't really find that really important, but if you prefer to do that, then you can. And you can go ahead and just hit start, and this is actually pretty fast. Um, I do have 16 gigs of RAM, so maybe that has an effect with it. Um, and there are other options such as you can, while you're um, compressing this video, you can add different videos to the QI. Um, so all you need to do is hit or just select another source file, for example. Um, I can select this random video and I can just let it scan, pick my settings and hit add to QI. And as you can see, um, that video is still being compressed and that one's next in line which is a great option um, if you want to put out more videos at once and you're going to leave for the day and just let it run. So as you can see it's done already. Let's go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. Go to my desktop there where the video was exported to um, and as you can see the original file is an MOV and this is an MP4. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the file size it turned this into. So like I said this was originally 199 megabytes and after it's been compressed, it's been brought down to 14.4 megabytes, which is a pretty big jump if you ask me. Let's go ahead and just open up the video here and let you guys take a look at the quality difference between the original and the compressed version. Okay, so the original video is down here and the compressed version is right there. Um, let's go ahead and I'll try my best to hit the play button at the same time. And just let you guys take a look at what the intro looks like. So as you can see, the compressed version does look a tad darker, but if you ask me, you can't really notice any difference. So considering the file size is from 199 to 14, I really didn't notice anything um, in terms of the difference. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is a way to compress your files down, and when uploading it to YouTube, it would make a huge difference in terms of upload times. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you want to see more tutorials and reviews, videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if this helped you, hit the like button, as that will help me a lot. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.